Hi guys, welcome to this week's language challenge number two. Uh, this week is an audio challenge where I've been uh, repeatedly listening to a particular song all week and um, then uh, tried to pick out as best I can some uh, interesting real life expressions, phrases and generally uh, new vocabulary um, to uh, yeah to 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 help me improve because that's what that's what the goal is. This week uh, I chose this song uh, by a, a French artist called Black M and the song is uh, La Nuit Porte Conseil which uh, literally translates to uh, um, the night uh, the night brings advice and it's the equivalent of the English expression to sleep on something uh, because you know with some reflection uh, it might look better in the morning. Um, if you want to know more about the, my thoughts and the outcome of this week's challenge, just uh, head uh, head over to my blog where there's an accompanying article with uh, many more details about my thoughts on this type of challenge because it's the first of uh, first of this kind of challenge I've done. So without further ado, here are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight key new expressions I learned from this song. One, je dois tout donner dans mon présent. I must give everything in in the present moment and I like this because it applies to uh, well many things in life but it, it definitely applies to language learning you should not think too much about the past or the future just choose your goals now and act on them and uh, concentrate on the present Two, le feu de l'action le feu de l'action literally means the fire of the action and this translates to the uh, English equivalent which is uh, the heat of the moment so you know we all do things in the heat of the moment um, and uh, I like this because it's always fun to find out the uh, equivalence of our own expressions in another language especially when they don't just directly translate. Three, être déboussolé so this is about the adjective déboussolé which I had never heard before in fact when I was hearing the song I thought he was saying début Soleil, like beginning sun, but it's that key U, uh, O U and U sounds. They're different, and they're hard for English speakers to pick up on. So it's debout soleil, debout soleil, and it means to be disorientated, to be confused, or to be uh, in a bit of a mess. You know, um, like when you're learning a language, you're always saying stuff like, "Ah, oh, yeah, sorry, I understood what you meant. Uh, I was just." in a mess. I was thinking of something else. Four. Avoir les yeux rivés. Avoir les yeux rivés. Uh, I like this. So this is a focus on the adjective rivé, which is also the past tense of the verb rivé, which means to rivet. But figuratively speaking, it means that uh, to be riveted on something. And in this case, have, have one's eyes riveted or glued or stuck to or focused on. Uh, a particular thing. In the song he says avoir les yeux rivés vers le ciel just staring into the sky. Les yeux rivés. I'm going to remember that one. Five. Now this is a way of saying um, in English I may something something but something something. Um, so in French it's j'ai beau j'ai beau as in beau for beautiful. J'ai beau plus a verb in the infinitive plus whatever you want to say, followed by me. Da, 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 da. For example, uh, j'ai beau être énervant, mais j'ai raison. I may be annoying, but I'm right. Six. Flu. Flu, F-L-O-U. Simply an adjective to mean blurry, fuzzy, blurred. I like this just because it sounds cute, doesn't it? Seven. Toutes sortes de choses. Toutes sortes de choses. Uh, I think this is going to come in really handy because it just means all kinds of things. Last but not least, number eight. And this is a very interesting uh, idiomatic expression uh, which uh, I think literally means to drive in, to push through, to, uh, to really charge into head first. Um, and it is foncé tête baissée, foncé tête baissée, 
Um, I like it. I think it can apply to, to language learning. You know, it tells you not to overthink something too much, but it can also mean that you're, you're hot headed and you don't think enough before you do see things. So I think it depends on the context, but um, I thought it'd be fun to end on an idiomatic expression. Anyway, so that's eight uh, useful, interesting things I picked out from just one song. Um, if you'd like to, yeah, if you'd like to read my read my thoughts about this week's challenge and what I think I got out of it and what I think uh, could go better in a future um, challenge of this kind, head over to my blog. There's a link to it in the description below, along with a link to the song if you're interested, and also the the lyrics. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe for more. It really does motivate me to carry on with these challenges. Um, and uh, I hope to see you again soon. Bye guys. I just wanted to show you all my new t-shirt. Look, it's got guys falling off, jumping off bikes. It's so 